Hey everyone, it's Mike at Fit and 20. I'm here with my lovely assistant, Emmy. Say hi, Emmy. Hi, Emmy. Anyways, um, if you remember a few weeks ago, and you can see the video in the video section on Facebook, my sister-in-law did a workout, a three-minute workout that actually grows into a 13-minute workout if you do three sets of it. What she did was one minute of body weight squats, like so, okay? And then one minute of push-ups on an angle on these labor equalizers, fantastic piece of equipment, like so. And then one minute of pull-ups, keeping her pelvis elevated as she did them. So what she's done is she's essentially worked her whole body, lower by doing the squats, an upper push, an upper pull, using the core to stabilize on the push so that the body doesn't sag, and by elevating the pelvis forces you engage your posterior chain. It's a whole body workout and you can get it done in 13 minutes or if you only have three minutes, you do it in three minutes. So I wanna show you a progression on this because I know that um, a lot of guys might look at these bars and say, what am I gonna get out of these bars? Like that's not a real push up, that's not a real pull up. I wanna show you how it works, okay? First off, guys, if you wanna, I've got, M. can you come on over here for a sec? I've got this thing here, this vest, it's a weighted vest, it's 45 pounds. So if you want to increase your resistance on the squat for a minute, wear a weighted vest. This thing's adjustable too, you can take, uh, you can take it out a pound at a time, so you can make it 20 pounds, 21, 22, all the way up to 45 if you want. So that's how you can change the resistance on your squats, but on these exercises, all you have to do, I mean, you don't even need the bars for a regular push-up, right? <clears throat> I want to show you the proper form for regular push-up. Hands are not out here. This is not a push-up, okay? Your hands are under your chest. It's like a bench press. Your arms are out wide. Heads up, bodies up. You come down and up. Down till your arms break parallel and up. Down and up. Do those for a minute. See if you can. Okay, my client who's 60 plus, Steve Dillabo, he can do those for a minute. So guys, that's a challenge for you, okay? Now, if you want to make them somewhat more interesting, what you do is you take a ball, a stability ball, and you can do push-ups. Now you've got to use your core to stabilize yourself. I'm moving the ball on purpose to show you that I have to use my obliques, quadratus lumborum, and a bunch of other muscles to keep myself stable. So when I'm doing push-ups like this, it's more challenging, and I can lift one leg and do push-ups. I can move to the other leg and do push-ups. It gets more challenging, right? If I want to make it harder, guys, weight vest. Put the weight vest on. Same thing with the pull-ups. So for beginners who don't have a lot of upper body strength, especially pulling strength, you want to keep the lever as short as possible, which means keep your back on the ground. Okay, bring your feet in nice and close, keep them wide. And all you do from here is pull up like this. Keep your pelvis down until you can get a significant number of these. And then you can do what Ola, my sister-in-law, was doing, which is elevate the pelvis. From there, it's harder when you do this. Extend your legs, because again, what I'm doing is I'm lengthening the lever. And now Emmy's going to pass me the ball to make it even harder. I'm now engaging more of the posterior chain. Think the rear side of my core as I do pull-ups like so. And, who's seen the movie Thor? Whenever I see a guy in a movie who's big and muscular, I always ask myself the question, how do you get that way? So I go to YouTube usually, and I search him. And so I looked up Chris Hemsworth and the works at workouts that he did for this movie Thor, right? And I saw him using these labored equalizers. Crazy guy was doing this, tons of them. So, and this is the final progression for a full body weight pull up on these. What you do is you invert yourself and you pull up. Okay, so it takes some balance, but, so you see, you can go from a short lever to a really long lever in absolutely no time. So, the workout would be a minute of squats, a minute of push-ups, and a minute of pull-ups, and you vary it based on your individual capability. Now, I want to show you something else, okay? There's another way to get a quick three-minute workout in that really engages the whole body, okay? And this is once you've gained some strength and some stamina and you're able to do these exercises, okay? So I'm gonna use the stability ball here. 
what you can do is you can you can do these exercises separate and it becomes a five minute workout if you squat and then you do a push up and then you do a pull up and then you do knee ins okay so this is a core exercise like so right so in that's my abs. Now, don't let it sag down like this. You want your knees to come off the ball to keep your back high, okay? Let's try and do those for a minute. And then, turn over and do the exact opposite. Mainly a hamstring movement. What I want to do is I want to drive my elbows into the ground, elevate my pelvis as high as I can, and keep it up as I drive into the ground and I pull my legs in. As much as I can for my chest, all the way to my knees, I try and keep my body straight. Try and do that for a minute. Now, if you want to be real crazy, what you can do is you can combine the exercises, okay? I can do a minute of squats. Let's say I got my weight vest on. Then I come on over here, and I do a push up, knee in, push up, Push up, knee in. Try that for a minute, okay? You've just taken two exercises, concatenated it into one. Okay, and then the same thing here. So once you got some strength, elevate your pelvis, pull up, curl in. Pull up, curl in. Pull up, curl in. So, a minute of squats. Minute of the push up with the knee in, minute of the pull ups with the leg curl, three sets, take a two minute rest in between. It's a 13 minute workout, but it is a kick butt workout. Thanks all, we'll see you again soon.